Now to give you a little bit of background, I used to suffer from clinical anxiety. And when I would go on stage, my clinical anxiety would make it very difficult for me to perform. I can remember when I was about 15 and I, used, and I played the piano in front of the whole school, my heart was basically beating out of my chest. And then even when I was older as an actor touring England, I would get heart palpitations every single time I went on stage. My anxiety and the stress made it very, very difficult for me to enjoy performing. But meditation changed all of that for me and meditation will do you wonders too. And in this video, I am going to explain why. So why is meditation so good for performers? Well, for starters, you have the general benefits of meditation. For instance, the fact that it reduces sympathetic nervous system activity and reduces uh, cortisol levels and other stress related problems. It helps you to relax, it reduces anxiety, but you probably know all of that already. So in this video, I'm going to discuss a few specific ways in which meditation is especially beneficial for performers. I'll also tell you how to meditate as a performer in order to get the most out of it. Now, I'm a meditation teacher with 10 years of experience and I've been performing for 30 years. So I really hope you get a lot out of this video. So for starters, one of the absolute number one reasons why meditation is so wonderful for performers is because it increases the mind-body connection. Now, whatever type of performance you do, I don't care whether you're a dancer, uh, whether you play the guitar, whether you're an actor, a singer, whatever it is, mind-body connection is going to be very, very important for you. Because you need to be able to move your body with conscious control. For instance, if you're a dancer, then of course you need to be aware of your every movement so that you put on the perfect dance. At the same time, if you're a pianist or a guitarist, you need to have a really strong mind-body connection so that what you feel in your mind gets communicated through your body into your instrument. And for actors, the ability to embody a role and to physically play a character, that also demands a huge mind-body connection. Thankfully, meditation can do wonders for this. When you meditate, your mind becomes more aware of your body and you become more in control of your every movement. So I'm sure you can imagine how that would be very beneficial when you're on stage. For me, as an actor, meditating made me so much more emotive and expressive in my every movement and it really helped me to physically embody a character. And then again, I also found that when I'm playing piano, which I've done for 30 years, having a good mind-body connection really helps me to play in a more emotive style. So how do you enhance your mind-body connection so that you have more awareness and more control of your body when you perform? The best way to do that is with any kind of integrated body-mind training. So integrated body-mind training basically is any kind of exercise where you are very uh, consciously and mindfully moving your body. For instance, slower forms of yoga, such as yin yoga, are very good for that. And so is uh, a meditation technique called body scan. So body scan meditation is principally used for stress, but it also has the added advantage of enhancing your mind-body connection. So I'm going to tell you how to do that now. You can pause this video as we go along so you can do this meditation if you like to. So to do a body scan meditation, you're just going to close your eyes. And then you just focus on your breath until you relax. So very similar to other meditation techniques at the beginning. You're just closing your eyes and meditating on your breath. Now here is where body scan becomes different. Oh, and by the way, if you're doing this meditation now, feel free to pause the video, focus on your breathing for five minutes before you do the next step. So when you're ready, 
you're going to consciously scan your body. So what you do is you begin at the crown of your head and you just mindfully observe the sensations going on there. And if you happen to notice any type of tension, just imagine breathing air into that space and having it relax. And then you're going to continue all the way down your body very gradually. Again, feel free to pause this video so that you can actually do this meditation now. You're just going to scan your body consciously for your eyes and your face and your cheeks and your mouth and then just carry on downwards. Carry on observing the sensations in your body until you get all the way down to your toes. So what does that do? Well, for starters, it's incredibly relaxing, which is why it's used as part of the uh, University of Massachusetts um, MIT uh, stress reduction course. But for performers, it also has the added benefit of enhancing your mind-body connection. You're deliberately becoming conscious of every part of your body. And so you're becoming more aware and more in control. So when you step on stage, you have more awareness and more control of your body and how you move it. And of course, precisely how you use that skill is going to depend on the art that you do. If you're a dancer, then obviously conscious awareness of your body is incredibly important. But it's also important for virtually all other forms of performance art also. Now, that's one benefit of meditation for performers. Another benefit of meditation, which I've found particularly useful, is that it completely quietens the mind. Now, if you're a performer, I'm sure that you, like me, have this kind of persona that you put on when you put on stage, when you go on stage. And it could be a variable persona. For instance, if you're an actor, you might be playing a few different roles in one show. If you're a musician, like a rock star, then you, uh, you probably have a persona that you adopt when you step on stage. Whatever kind of persona you have when you step on stage, you want to be able to completely embody that. Now, that's easier said than done, because as a lot of performers will know, sometimes when you step on stage, sure, you want to be the performer, but you've got all that other stuff that's going on in your life, and it's kind of uh, flooding your mind with thoughts and concerns. You need to get rid of all those thoughts or concerns in order to truly embody your role. Thankfully, meditation is probably the number one way in the world to completely quiet in your mind. So by meditating as a performer, what you can do, let's say I'm going to use an example as an act of an actor. So you're an actor, you've gone through your regular day-to-day uh, -day life, you've got all these thoughts and concerns going on because you're a regular human being and human beings have thoughts and concerns. Then you arrive at the theatre. Suddenly you're supposed to be somebody completely different. So to do that, you need to empty your mind completely and then adopt this new role. And that's why just meditating for 10 minutes before your performance, I would say about half an hour to an hour before your performance, can really help to clear your mind so that you can completely uh, engross yourself in whatever performance it is that you're doing. So what is the best meditation for that? Now again, feel free to stop this video at any time so that you can actually do this meditation in your own time. So again, you're just gonna begin. We normally begin a meditation by breathing. So we're just gonna breathe and consciously observe the breath moving through the body. Again, feel free to pause this video you need to take approximately 25 to 50 breaths to completely relax your mind and your body. Now, once you feel that you are completely relaxed, all I want you to do is become aware of a point of complete emptiness. If you just kind of 
mentally, mindfully observe what's around you, you'll find that most of the world is empty and you can focus on any point of emptiness. And then continue to meditate on that for about 10 minutes or however long you can. So again, feel free to pause this video if you would like to and just meditate on complete emptiness. Now what that's doing, imagine the mind as a, as a cup. Uh, as Bruce Lee once said, the purpose of a cup is that it is empty. Sometimes you need your mind, like the cup, to be empty, particularly before you step on stage. You want to empty all those thoughts and feelings and all that other gunk that you've accumulated through your daily life. Empty all that out so that you're, em so that you're left with an empty mind, like an empty cup, that you can pour whatever you want to into. So essentially, you're getting a completely empty mind that you can then put your performance persona into. You need to empty your mind before you do that because otherwise you're just going to get this mesh of thoughts and feelings from your daily life mixed with your performance persona. You don't want that. You just want your mind to be completely empty and then step 100% into your performance role. So doing the, uh, the meditation on emptiness that we've just done is going to massively help you with that. Now, finally, I would like to discuss a type of meditation that is going to be incredibly helpful for anybody who uses their voice when they perform. So you could be a singer, you could be a presenter, you could be an actor, anybody who uses their voice when they perform. Now, as you probably know, especially if you're a singer, in order to sound good and to have that rich resonance that you want in your voice, you need your body, especially your throat, to be very relaxed. And that can be hard, especially if you've got any kind of stress or anxiety going on. So how do you completely relax your body and your mind and, and your throat so that you get that resonance from your voice? Now, the best way to do that is a really, really simple, fun technique. All you're going to do is meditate on humming. You're just going to close your eyes and begin to hum. And you're just going to meditate on that sound for 10 minutes. Now humming actually, and this is really interesting, humming is a bit of a miracle in itself. So scientific studies actually show that simply humming stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, helps to balance cortisol levels, and reduces sympathetic nervous system activity, which basically is scientific talk for you're going to relax. Uh, especially your throat will relax and your other vocal organs. The reason why is not only is your mind relaxing because you're meditating, but you're also creating mm, a gentle vibration. So those vibrations that you create when you hum, they're kind of like a little massage for your internal organs, especially for your throat. So just by humming, mm, you're going to help your mouth and your throat and other parts of your body that are involved with speaking and singing, you're going to help those to relax. And that is going to help you to get that really rich, nice, resonant kind of voice that you want when you perform. So that's just a few ways that meditation can benefit performers. Honestly, in my experience as a musician for 30 years, an actor for 10 years, and a one-time singer, well, I say one-time six years, um, meditation has basically been a bit of a miracle for me, to be completely honest with you, especially as somebody who used to suffer from clinical anxiety. There are a million ways in which med meditation can benefit you. And if you are interested to learn how meditation can benefit you as a performer, and you want to be able to perform in your best way by using meditation, book an online meditation lesson with me. The link is in the description.